Okay, so this um, video is about gender determination and which chromosomes determine your gender. Uh, of course, this is your biological gender. So, um, the thing that I think just about everybody knows is that females have two X chromosomes and of course the symbol for female is that which beloved of feminists and males have an X and a Y chromosome and that's the symbol for males now the difference between an X and a Y chromosome is effectively in size, so if you sort of go onto the internet and have a look at the sizes of these chromosomes, what you'll see is an X chromosome is quite chunky and big, and a Y chromosome is less so. So in terms of sort of genetics, there are whole swathes of that X chromosome that are not homologous, so whatever genes are on this bit in a male are going to be expressed, and that's the basis of uh, all our sex-linked crosses. But let's just look at uh, a couple of terms. So, if a female produces gametes, all of her gametes are going to have X chromosomes in. If a male produces gametes, Half of his sperm are going to have X chromosomes and half his sperm are going to have Y chromosomes in. So in terms of sex chromosomes, females are producing all the same sort. They're only producing X chromosomes and we call those then, remember homo means the same, the homogametic sex. And males of course are producing two different ones and they're called the heterogametic sex. Now in most things uh, this is the case that females are XX and males are XY. There is um, a couple of exceptions to this and they have turned up occasionally. You don't need to remember them, they will tell you but just watch out for, so this is my sort of, you know, early warning. Look out for moths look out for birds and in both of those things the female is XY and the male is XX that's annoying isn't it but as I say if you're asked about those they will tell you either which is the homogametic sex or actually give you the you know which one's XX so let's have a look at what happens then in our Punnett square So, male parent, XY, female parent only contributing X chromosomes to give a female and a male. And that means that you've got a 50% chance of having a female child and a 50% chance of having a male child and this um, really I suppose emphasizes this idea that it's always the same probability we all know families where there are you know, five girls or there are five boys, um, l the larger the family obviously the closer it's going to get to that 50-50, uh, but pretty much one of my son's friends, he's got uh, ten siblings and only three of them are girls, so it's not getting quite to that sort of 50-50 ratio. Over the whole planet, yes. 50-50. Um, the bigger the number, the, the better your chances are. But of course, we, you know, as humans, we just simply don't have the reproductive capacity to have hundreds of children. Um, 
so it, it, you rarely get families where it's 50-50. So it doesn't mean that if you've already got three boys, your next child will be a girl. Now there are ways around that, and you may have heard of sperm sorting. Um, certainly the Beckhams were alleged to have done this. I'll be careful what I say now, I'm on the internet. Um, and you can see that the X chromosome is, is bigger than the Y chromosome. So if you put the sperm into a centrifuge tube and give it a good old uh, fairground ride and um, spin it down, then effectively the bottom bit will have the heavier, more DNA uh, X chromosomes. And the top bit, so somewhere up here, you would expect to find your lighter Y chromosomes. Uh, certainly questions have been asked about that in the past. Apparently it's, um, they do it routinely in cattle farming uh, because obviously the, if you've got a dairy herd you don't want too many bulls um, and it is apparently 90%-ish successful in uh, ensuring that you've got more female offspring. It may be important in some of the sex-linked conditions that we're coming across uh, later on where you might you know, only want to have female children uh, because there's something, um, there's a genetic condition attached to the X chromosome that would show up in your male children. Um, and this could be a sort of a reasonably straightforward way of making sure that your children are not suffering from genetic diseases. We'll see how common that becomes. But apparently, yes, that is what uh, the Beckhams had done so that they could have Harper after their three boys. So they wanted a little girl and apparently David Beckham had his sperm sorted. That doesn't mean some nurse is sort of picking through it with her rubber gloves. Quite a horrible thought. Anyway. Right, got to remember I'm on the internet now. Bye.